Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming UEFA Champions League match day six fixture between Salzburg and Sevilla. This fixture will be played at the Red Bull Arena in Salzburg, Austria. That stadium does feature on the virtual red patch that I use, so we have it for you here on the preview. Here's a look at the Red Bull Arena in Salzburg. Looks like the players are ready to exit the tunnel here. As the players complete their pre-match festivities, let's take a look at our starting lineups. For Red Bull Salzburg, they line up in a 4-4-2. Man to watch is Pat Sandaka. He's moved on to Leicester since, uh, but he and Nwepu, Zambian country mates, are the players to watch for Salzburg. For Sevilla, 4-3-3. Ocampos, Leon and Suso up top. Gomez and Rakitic, central midfield. Young and Kunde there have moved on to the summer transfer window, which we have a quick that update shortly. The Papu Gomez. Look at our Champions League ball for the new campaign. And we are underway in Austria. Virtual Red says they're going to have the next update, which will include the extensive list of summer transfers out shortly. In the meantime, I get to play with Pat Sandaka, Zambian national, who's moved on to Leicester City in that window, but I certainly enjoy an opportunity to play with him. He's a prolific scorer, really fun player to watch. One of many, many talented players to come through this Salzburg side, of course, Erling Holland, uh, here before, before Dortmund, and plenty of other notable the stars. A lot of these Red Bull clubs, Leipzig, um, New York, and the MLS have a, have a really good reputation and system uh, when it comes to the recruitment of young talent and the scouting of those young talents and, and identifying those uh, players that might be undervalued by the systems. And, in the U.S., it's more of a baseball term, but we call that money ball. I don't, I don't know that I hear that term thrown around much, but it's essentially just you know, the idea of getting, just being uber efficient with every dollar you spend and, and making sure that the players you get are you know, undervalued relative to what they provide, that type of, type of thing. And Salzburg are a team that have near mastered that, from what I can see. Leipzig do a, a great job with the team and all those Red Bull clubs. Seem to do very well in that area. Imwepu to Dhaka. Koita. And, uh, couldn't quite meet the defender. I felt like I needed another touch there and it was one too many. And, Barcelona, Campos for a shot there. It's deflected by the fence. There's another by the fence. And at the break, we got a stalemate in Salzburg from the Red Bull Arena. So let's take a look at our halftime stats. 
Uh, no shots. Uh, and otherwise pretty even on the line. So, uh, a lot of action from box to box and not much else. So, both sides going to need to make some adjustments here to get forward and create some opportunities at goal. Salzburg be certainly the more likely to be okay with a, a draw here through, through four matches. Uh, top of the group. Uh, match day five is not played here at time of recording, so I'm not sure exactly where they'll be when this is played, but in good shape as it stands presently. Bono sends a goal kick out. Activity from box to box. <laughs> Having a hard time e either side really getting into the box. The attacking third's been elusive for both sides in this one. Bono's going to get to it first. Oh, he's offsides anyway. I thought, I thought he held up just enough. No, clearly he did not. Look the angle that I had it. In live motion there. Looked like he might have just held up. 71st minute, still nothing between the sides. And unless I just forgot one, we still don't even have a shot yet. So this one's been a, a gritty one, if you will. Oh, this is going to be one, though. Pats and Daka chips the keeper and scores the home Stands though, nice chip of the keeper from Daka. One nil in the 76th minute. The Red Bull Arena explodes. Fans are loving it. I see a lot of a lot of movement, a lot of waving around back there. Good chance. It's pretty lively in here right now. Another chip! Oh. Bono finishes uh, coming off his line here. Not going to make that mistake twice. He's really charging out. He's way out on that one. Yeah, you can see from that one. If I had had that on the target, Bono would have knocked that away. So no goal happening there. Bono learned his lesson on the first one, I suppose. Couple substitutions for Sevilla. They're going to look for a late dramatic equalizer here. Paco Gomez, the Argentine, up to Escadero, who's just sub subbed on. Switches up play to Suso. That is going to be a foul in Sevilla. That may cost them an opportunity to equalize. They may not see the ball again in this one. And certainly, if I have my way, we're going to stop this time. That was horrible. Wow, the 
Defender holds him up just enough for the keeper to come out. Look at yeah, that was a really, really horrific pass. Um, <laughs> that ain't, camera angle's a little tough from that particular spot. That's all on me for not thinking about that a little better. That would have been a really horrible way to give up an equalizer. That's it for this one. Nearly a very dramatic end, but Salzburg hang on. Hatson Daka's his chip. He's the match winner. He's a look at Hatson Daka. Man of the match. The will score a one nil victory for Salzburg. Let's take a look at our highlights. And there, it's literally the first shot of the match in the 76th minute. Bono's coming off his line, and I, I think he should have kept coming. I think if he would have kept coming, I'm pretty sure he would have had it, or even if he didn't, he would have been a in a better position to challenge that shot. See it pretty well from this angle. He kind of stops. And that gave me the room I needed to complete the chip shot there. Yunizovic, he's going for the chip. And you can't really tell from that angle, but this time, this, this time, Bono comes all the way out, and that chip was off target, but if it had been on target, it looked like Bono was going to knock it down. In stoppage time, a horrendous pass intercepted by Luke DeYoung. Defender catches up, disrupts him just enough for the keeper to come out and send his shot off target. And that's it for this one. 1-0 one to Salzburg. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.